here we are fishing again today I've come to Radcote again I've come to the top end Grafton peg 31 we've had so much rain lately even last night it's absolutely pouring down this morning absolutely pouring down and I've had a bit of a break in the clouds which probably gonna last about 10 minutes by the look of it so the color of that water is chocolatey brown so hopefully when I say it's a bream day it's a bloody bream day I've put my feeder rod high up we're fishing in between the two boys over there I'm on my own today didn't bother asking anybody to come who who else would want to come fish on a day like this I do not know so I've got a bucket of ground bait some worms some sweet corn some bits and pieces we shall see what we catch yeah, so you can see that water that's absolutely hammering through there but that little bit of slack over the far side on 31 is enough for me to be able to hold it so that's where we are today thank you for everybody who subscribed again I see Dean subscribed and Jason Bean which is an honor so please subscribe won't you if you can it don't half make a difference it makes me feel good I'm trying to get to the magic 500 if I can do that I'll be amazed so you can see them clouds coming over we'll see if we can get a knock or two still at it still fishing it like a world champion is normal I've had one fish a perch of about three or four ounces so far I'm just moving around the corner slightly I'm still on the same peg I just moved slightly to in the sl to the left of the boys over there to see if we could have anything you only got a couple of hours of, of um, daylight left I should think so I don't want to be messing around as they always say the bream live here well they ain't bloody living here today well I can't catch them as normal um, the water is still hammering through chocolate brown must put pay to tomorrow's fishing I would think I'm going to uh, bring my rod in in a minute and probably just same peg again just around the corner slightly there's a slack I'm probably going to fish that just see if I can catch a fish or two because I'm missing bloody darts for this you know so that's a sacrifice anyway make sure you subscribe make my Christmas there's a little view all the way down there the pylons and a lovely bonfire if you're thinking of having one still at it got the meat on now hoping for a wrap around what is that coming down the river see it somewhere there no when we're looking somewhere there ah. Ball or something that is anyway got the meat on winds up hoping for a wrap around still cool oh, wouldn't that be nice to catch a barbel ain't caught one for 30 years don't know if today is going to be the day we shall see it's creeping on now we've probably got about another half hour left of light and then I'm gonna go home so
Well, thought I'd just move down a little bit. I've come down to peg 30 now. It's a lovely view and I've got the wind on my back instead of my face. So I'm a bit more warmer now. I can sit down and enjoy it a little bit more and not catch nothing with good scenery. So what a lovely view. I mean, that's what you come fishing for, isn't it? Beautiful. So we've not had no more rain this afternoon. No more rat rounds, but still hopeful. That is lovely, mine. Look at that. So if that rod just pulls around, that'd be lovely. That'll finish the day a treat. Thought I'd test a little GoPro out a little bit. Thought I'd wander down to this little block house at Radcut. It's at the Grafton end, obviously. Now there was somebody living in here in the summer cannot believe there'd be anybody in there now but we'll have a look so if I shit myself and run off you know there's somebody in there now he was drinking skull Cans of skull, so we shall see. I don't know how you get into it, even. I don't know. Where's the entrance? Around the back here. Holy shit. What goes on? Oh my god. This is what is in these bunkers. Oh. Cans of beer, barbecues. What book is this? What a flipping mess. John Beetleman collected poems. So you come down here and read a poem. What a mess. I don't know. People have obviously been in here. Or whether they're whether it's campers, I don't know. What's going on here? What's this? Tablets, bottles. Anyway, no sign of my homeless mate in here. There you are. Just a load of old tins and a book on poetry. I thought we'd have a look anyway. Hopefully that came out on the GoPro. Don't know. Don't know what's this up on the corner now? Look at all these snails. Now that's worth looking at. Look at them. All in here. Wow. Now that is wildlife for you. Again. Up down there, around there, all huddled in. Amazing. Anyway, there you are. I survived it, but can't get out that way. It's like a dish of most haunted, isn't it? Let's get out of here. Oh, it's a bit desperate if you've got to be in there having your food. Anyway, we're back out again. There's a plug for the river, which somebody's pulled out. And you can see what that is absolutely horsing down. Anyway, we we'll go back to it, see if we can't catch something and uh, see what that little footage come out of. How that come out? If I can turn my uh, light off on my phone. This is an awful track sometimes with your trolley. If you're walking down here, you get drawn down here. Oh my God. So potholy. But you think that whole river's up two or three foot now. It's 
seen one or two people down here walking. Not many. Not many. Probably watching the darts. Probably watching the bloody darts. Right, that's it. I'm going to uh, rescue this dog's ball. It's just come in in the current. If you know the owner, leave a comment on the bottom of the video and I'll return it to you. If I can get it out even. God almighty, can't even get a bloody ball out the river. Got it. There you are. It's a uh, dynamo. You have to read that. Oh, I can't read that very well. Dynamo ch cricket. Anyway, I'm going to leave it on the bank. It's here for you. If you want it? Well, it's Hooligo Glavio. Windy now. I've just about had enough, to be honest with you. I'll probably go up and just chuck a bit of bread around near my mate's boat for five minutes. You can see that old. Oh blowing everywhere the old net is anyway we'll see what this afternoon was all about it uh somewhere in here is the fish of the day And there we are. That's it for the whole day. Mr. Perchy, thank you very much. He's got some black stuff on his fins, on his back fins there, but anyway, glad to get back, ain't you, mate? You know what it's like? One last cast. I've uh, just moved up between some more boats now. In fact, that's his name, Shady Deal. But he is a good friend of mine. I wouldn't usually fish this close to a boat without their permission, really. But he is a good friend. And to be honest, it looks like he's been uh, buying screw fix out of gaffer tape from what I can see on his boat. Well, I'll have to have a word with him about that. He must have a leak going on or something. Anyway. If you can see over there, there our little bridge that we get over. That's been all taken apart by the water. And I'm just going to see between these two ball. boats. Somebody it is else literally my last goes to cast. The best pegs. Oh, there's my car. And it's starting Sunday. to rain. You can see how much water's been down here. There's still a little bit left in the field now. When's it ever going to end? Even a portable toilet in the middle of the field. So, can we have a wrap round just before the end? Keep my camera on the rod so you can see, hopefully. Mm, what's it say on the end of this other boat? John and Margaret, 1989 to 2018. Mart handy. So, I don't know whether they bought that boat or whether that's one of them's died anyway. Here comes the rain. Had a few breakings on the old boats down here recently. Someone's been going in. They've not been, uh, from what I understand, they've not been stealing the goods. They've been after food and drink. So. knock around with that knock around come on
meant to be This today. is another friend of mine's boat. Dodgy Tim. Keeps wanting me to go out on this damn thing. In the summer, keeps pestering me. Come out with him for the day on it, but... Christ almighty, I don't think it'll even take my weight. Believe it or not, I was going to do a boiler at his, his house. He need, desperately needed a new boiler. And uh, he saved a bit of money up and then he went and bought this instead. I mean, anyway, dangerous Tim. That's when you know your luck's in. When you drive all the way back from fishing with your tackle bag on the top of the car. Lucky old me.